welcome to tutorial on cadence virtuoso this video is about the design of full adder circuit using 14 nanometer cmos technology for designing a full adder two half adders and an or gate is essential already i have created the two input and gate and two input xor gate also a half adder circuit now i am going to design the full adder circuit for that you can create the instances from the library which is created an end gate and xor gate connect this b as the input i can just copy this entire structure to create a full adder two half adder this is first half adder and this is the second half adder and i also require an or gate to input or gate is necessary now make the connection of a full adder by using the wires this will act as a sum and this is the carry connect the input of the first xor to this second half adder and the third input is c in now provide all this ground from this analog library ground you can just copy this by pressing c provide the vdd you can just use the wires or extend them so that you can directly connect all the vddis together at a time provide the net names vdd vdd here this is also vdd this one one more name as vdd provide the output pins call that as sum the second one is carry connect this now you provide the inputs a b and c in are the three inputs a input b and c in you can click on check and save the design you can see how they are connected all the vddis are connected but you need to provide the supply for that you can go to the analog library click on vdc get the vdc a ground for that and 
and you can directly name here as VDD. Click on it and provide the necessary DC voltage as one volt. Click on check and save. From here, you can see that all the VDDs are connected. You just provide the necessary inputs to this. That is A, B and C in by using the pulse. Go to the create instance again and from the cell just select V pulse. You can place here. You can observe that it is not defined with the parameters. Provide the ground. Click on this and enter the parameters that is the maximum voltage is 1, initial period of 100 picoseconds, pulse width is of 50 pico and provide the pulse to be or rise time to be 2 pico and 2 pico. You can have or you can modify this based on your requirement. One input is done, similarly you can do it for the second one. Just copy this and connect it to B. You can just extend it if you want. Provide this connection. Just change these properties to 100 and 200 that is pulse width is 100 picosecond and period of the pulse is 200 again for this C in copy this and you can use a wire to connect it You can change this to 200 to 400 picoseconds. Fill window by pressing F. The design is completed. You can just click on check and save. Go to the launch ADEL. Before that, you need to select the model libraries. Since I am using the PTM models, not the GPDK, I am using the 14 nanometer technology file, which is a PTM model file. I have loaded the file. Next, load the analysis. So I am doing it for 600 picosecond. Select the outputs to be plotted from the design. I want to have A, B, C in, sum as well as carry as the outputs. ADL is loaded with all the necessary that is analysis and outputs. You can click on netlist and run. Observe the inputs and outputs of the full adder. These are the inputs and these two are the outputs. For triple one, you can use V for horizontal or vertical bar. You can verify this by moving the slider. Or use 
horizontal hitch to create one more you can move in this manner and you can verify them just delete them so this is the output of a full adder circuit now you can find the delay of it by using any of the inputs input combination with respect to this suppose if i want to have a delay between only sum and input a let me delete this now you can see that there is a delay that means these two waveforms you have the delay you can just mark or use the m at the midpoint and this one you can find the what is the delay between these two a difference will give you the delay or there are other approaches of finding the delay similarly you can mark here use the marker m and press d directly it will give you the delay between these two i want to find the average power for that case what i can do is go to the design edit from the design select the vdd and the current that is flowing into the circuit instantaneous current these two are loaded vdd and v not minus now they appear in this edl now again you just click on netlist and run the vdd is a fixed quantity which is 1 volt and this is the changing current which is called as the instantaneous current to find the average power select these two plots right click send it to the calculator the expression is loaded into the calculator here we just press on multiplication symbol now you have vdd as well as the current they got multiplied but i want the average power for that case select the average function from the function panel click on evaluate the buffer so it takes 35.77 microwatts or if you want you can just click on send buffer expression to edl and you can see that the expression is loaded here you can double click on or right click on it give the name as average power rerun that simulation again these are the simulation results the average power is 35.77 microwatts which is obtained from the expression in this way you can find the power or average power delay can be found by using the selecting any of the inputs that is with respect to one of the input this one and this or with this and this it depends on only two signals the delay between any of the signals